Welcome, everyone, and glad to have you with us from williams Bryce Stadium, home of the South Carolina Gamecocks. Hockey and all of his friends ready to go and amped up for what we have in store. Little gets the blood boiling, quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see, the number six team in the country, the Texas A&M Aggies, taking on another SEC rival, the South Carolina Gamecocks. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse. Gamecocks will put total weather and will get started. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. The Aggies' offense will get the first swing of the game. And the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive in games like this, guys, and it's crucial to get your emotions under control. No doubt, and rivalry... Wasting no time taking a shot. And it's incomplete. They were looking for the huge gain on first down. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. Catch in the middle. It's Barber. They have relished this tight victory since the last time these two got together, Pollock. It's just winning is beautiful. And when you beat your rival and you get those bragging rights, Palmer, it is a glorious thing for a whole year and sometimes longer. Well, that's the best thing about rivalry games like this. For the winning team, whoever pulls this one out here today, their fans are going to be bragging about this one for a long time. Got it. In the middle, it's Muhammad. And they pick up just a few on that completion. And now on second down for this offense. The give to the tailback. At midfield, he's got room. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. They'll go to the ground. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. They'll try to overcome that last play on second and 15. Back to throw, it's Wegman. Reacted well to the tip, but just couldn't squeeze the football. Instead of the turnover, it'll be third down. He's looking downfield to throw. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. Texas A&M will have to boot it away. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. And there will be no return on this one, and he can't get it out of bounds. The ball will come out to the 20. So the South Carolina Gamecocks offense will try to get something started with their first possession. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. Got a lot of running room. He smashes his way through again. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Well, the defense knew coming into this one, Reese, that this team was going to try to use their speed and take advantage of it, and they did right there. Nice gain on the run play to the right. Found plenty of running room in that defense. They've got to find a way to get there and make the tackle in the open field. Yeah, and they got to do a good job with their eyes, finding the football, and they've got to get a lot of bodies to this guy because he is fast. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. Snagged in the middle. It's Brown. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. They're threatening to score, and they'll throw it. He's got his man. A nice job by the QB there, timing out that drag throw. It's zone coverage, so he's got to make sure he gets it to his receiver in a window to allow him to catch the ball and then turn it upfield. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. This offense in scoring position with a fresh set of downs. A first down run on the doorstep. And this one will be stopped for no gain. After getting nothing, it's second and goal from the six. He'll pull it on the read. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They've gotten pushed back, but it's still third and goal. 
Wide receiver shows motion. Wants to fire it in the end zone on third and goal. And he's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, South Carolina. And it feels good to land that first big punch against a rival, doesn't it? No doubt. In a game like this, too, you just want to be executing at a high level early. So, David, that's got to feel great getting on the board first. And settles everyone down. All the nerves, all the emotion of this rivalry game. Now everybody can kind of settle in because you know you already got a touchdown on the board. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. They march 79 yards on the drive, and they cap things off with a 9-yard touchdown pass. And he's going to bring it out of the end zone. He's brought down at the 16, would have been much better off to take the touchback. Texas A&M has it back, and we say howdy to the Aggie offense again. Using his legs, it's Moss. Slams into the pile, he'll get one to the 17. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Caught over the middle, it's Allen. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Hands it off. And how about that play by that giant, that mountain of a man on the defensive front? Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Defense closed down quickly after a gain of three. They'll mark it at the 32. That's the end of the quarter, and South Carolina has the lead. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. Ready to get things started here in the second. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Caught close to the marker, it's Allen. He'll have enough for the first down and they stop him at the 45. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. Texas A&M ready to go with another first down. Use the play fake, now to throw. Finds the tight end. And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. After that last completion, it's second down. To the ground with the back. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. The Aggies come to the line with a new set of downs. Wide receiver coming across in motion. They'll run it from the gun. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Fine play action. Quickly out to the tight end. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. From the 36, a third down, and you wonder if they're willing to take two plays to get the first. Looking to throw for it. Grabbed over the middle, it's Allen. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. Quick handoff. And he breaks into the open. Huge game before he goes out of bounds, and now they've got it first and goal. So, so close to cashing it in for this offense. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. And after the really good gain on first down, they'll try to finish it off on second and goal. Coming after him. And the pressure gets him back at the eight-yard line. The closer you get to the end zone, the more aggressive I'm going to become. I'm going to take away the quick, easy stuff. And I'm going to blitz and bring pressure and put him on the quarterback and get him on the ground like you did right there. Third and goal coming up here. Looking for a man, it's Wegman. 
Let's it go to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Aggies. Timely decisions, effective play management helps him get in the end zone after that marathon drive. And every time the offense needed to play, boom, they got it. I mean, you think about it. Whether it's a small run, small pass, whatever they needed, they got it done, and they popped it in for the score. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. Blitz the uprights. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Hey, guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great top 25 matchup. Clemson is ahead early in Death Valley, but that's not exactly Trevor Lawrence out there. This game is a long way from being over. They're up by seven over Louisville. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. We'll circle back if anything big happens in this college football matchup. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Well, they tried the play fake, but it fooled absolutely nobody. And that's the problem with play action pass, Reese, is that it takes time to develop. The quarterback's got to fake the handoff, and receivers generally are running routes further downfield. So the offensive line has got to be able to hold up that extra second to give their QB an opportunity. They weren't able to do it there. They stop him after a six-yard run out to the 24. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. Yeah, and the defensive line, you know, third and long situations. I'm rushing the quarterback. You bring in the nickel, a little bit more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack on third down. And the Gamecocks decide to punt it away. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Oh, he gave him the limp leg. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. Texas A&M has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. Just a short pass to the tight end. They make the tackle at the 33, but he's ripped off 15 yards and picked up a first down. We'll take a quick break here. Two minutes to play in the first half. Dropping back, it's Wegman. Throws to the wideout. Had it in his hands, and he dropped it. Thought he had another big play, an interception. He'll have to settle for the PBU. It's second down. Fires to the tight end. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. So they'll send out the field goal unit. This is going to be a 46-yard field goal attempt. Right down the boulevard, it's good. And guys, after the field goal, now they have the lead. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. And good work by the coverage team to get the return man down on the ground. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. Last time, David, it was one, two, three kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on the heels. Got the quick pass. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. He's going to pass. Moving out of the pocket. And he gets it just beyond the line of scrimmage before he gets down. The hurry up now, second down, clock ticking. Two 
to the air. It's Sellers. It's caught. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Wants to throw on first down. Looking deep. And they took a shot on that one but couldn't make the connection. It's incomplete. They'll line up for a second down play. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. Fires to the right. He's got it. And he's brought down after a nice game. This will likely be the last play of the half. Trying to find his man on first down. No more time to throw. Quarterback is sacked at the 35. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. They'd love nothing better than to add a three ball here before the break. Oh, the attempt is no good. And after the miss, they're still down by a field goal. Texas A&M, 10, South Carolina, 7. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Thanks so much, guys, and I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion, and no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. Kick it away to get the third quarter started. All teed up and ready to go here in the second half. And here's the return. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. Trying to set the tone on the ground in the third. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, just feels like they just haven't been as physical. And for this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing, that get that one positive play, and then maybe you get those juices going and something can start to build. They thought they could just run it on third and short, but this defense was there to make the stop. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Everybody stays in their lanes well enough, and they stop him at the 31-yard line. So we'll see the offense on the field to start this drive. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. A negative play to open the drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. From the gun, the running back looking for room. He picks up maybe a couple before he stopped right at the 30-yard line. Now this offense facing a third and long from their own 30. Looking to pass. It's Wegman. He finds his man. Really strong job by the defense. A negative play on third down. The Aggies send out the punt team to kick it away. Fair catch called for and taken at the 30-yard line. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. And in a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. you got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Palmer, now use it against them. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space, see if a dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play, and it breaks this trend. Can't 
make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. And he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. They'll get this drive started from the 29. They'll run the RPO and throw it right. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Inside four minutes to play here in the third. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Now the play fake. Looking left. Makes a connection. He puts him in business across the 50 into the 46-yard line. It'll be first down. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Solid fundamentals on that tackle from this freshman. Got three on first down at second and seven. Wide out in motion. To the air, it's Wegman. Unloads to the wide out. A strike downfield. The stop is made, but this offense is threatening. First and goal from the nine. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws, just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So loud it's rattling your feelings on third and goal. From the gun, wants to pass. Got it. Oh, and he thought he had a chance to house him, but the defense tackles him at the three. Texas A&M has the lead at the end of the quarter. To make the winning plays and come home with the victory. They already have the lead, but they will go for the knockout punch here in the fourth quarter on fourth and goal. He's not going to get there, and they'll have to give up the football. First and ten from inside their own five. You got to take care of the ball, but there is room to take a shot here. Quarterback on the keeper. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Here's the handoff. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. They believe in that running game. Got six before he stopped at the 23. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Fires to the big fella. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chain. The Gamecocks are rolling down the field. They'll throw it on first down. Gets it out quickly. They'll mark him down at the 40 after ripping off 10. Now from the 40, it's first and 10. They'll put the tight end in motion. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Trying to buy a little time, and he cannot, but he does get it back closer to the line of scrimmage. Those play action passes take a little bit longer to develop, right? Because you still have the fake. And then the quarterback turns his back to the defense, has to reset. you got to protect him a little bit better than that. Or the fake's got to be a lot better. They gave up the sack on first down. Now it's second and 11. Looking to throw, it's Sellers. Setting up the screen. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. Just shy of midfield at the 47. The defense needs a third down stop. To the ground to try to move the chains. He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. And the Gamecocks come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Grabbed behind the line. It's Brown. 
And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Caught in the backfield, it's Bennett. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. All the way down at the 33-yard line, it's first and 10. Hand off to the single back. Trying to pound their way forward, he picks up a couple to the 31. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle, it's Brown. They make the stop, but the sweet throwing catch is plenty to give them a first down. The Gamecocks are threatening in the red zone. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. Got his man quickly. And just a short, safe pass away. They pick up a few. We've reached the two-minute warning, and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. On second down, wants to throw. Scrambling away. And he can't find anyone open, and down he goes. A sack here late in the fourth. You know, for this quarterback late in the game, you just need to have a better concept of the situation. Can't take sacks at this juncture. And I know that the play gets thrown off, the timing's off, and you're forced to roll out. But if nobody's open, either run the ball, get what you can, get out of bounds, or throw that thing away. A shot toward the end zone. And he can't quite make the connection as he was trying to pay off this red zone opportunity. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. Absolutely perfect. And how about this? All tied up in the waiting moments, guys. That is a massive kick late here in the game to tie it up. And now, can your defense do their job and at minimum hold them scoreless here to put this thing into OT? Or even better, can they get you the football back and give you an opportunity to win the game? Coming down the stretch in the fourth, and we are all tied up, about set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. And the returner will be dragged down. Texas A&M has it back, and we say howdy to the Aggie offense again. There's enough time to get the ball down the field here, David, but you've got to make sure you're efficient and avoid mistakes. Yeah, and those two-minute drills, we always talk about the first first down, Jesse. Get that first first down, stop the clock, and get some momentum going on offense. Yeah, and good decision-making by the quarterback, too, right? You don't have to be greedy in this situation. Just take what the defense gives you and get yourself in position to win. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Dropping back, it's Wegman. Fires to the wideout. Working the middle. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. He's looking to throw it. Got it in the middle, it's Watson. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. We've got a timeout on the field, and we are set up for a terrific finish. Biggest drive of the game right here as we get close to the end of regulation. Pressure coming. That's it fly. That pass is incomplete. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Caught near the sticks. It's Watson. He gets the job done on third down. They move the chains. It's at the 37. The offense burns its third and final timeout of the half. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. They'll try the run. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Everybody has to be set. They have to get it off. On second down, looking again to throw. Makes the catch. It's Watson. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. The defense will use a timeout here. There are 16 seconds left to play. No, no good. After the miss here in the fourth quarter, still deadlocked. First 
down for the offense. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Offense gets set for second down. Well, guys, let's play some more. Headed to overtime. And this just feels right. Both of these teams going back and forth. So, of course, David, this thing needs to get decided in OT. Let's see who's better. Short amount of time to do it. A couple possessions probably. Maybe one possession each. Who's the better team? All right, guys, so here we go in overtime. And just to refresh everyone's memory, alternating possessions starting on the opponent's 25. And you want to play defense first because you want to know what you need. That's a key philosophical approach for most teams when it comes to overtime, David. Yeah, and remember the rule change a couple years ago, too, in, in the second overtime and two-point conversion. So situational type football that you better have worked on throughout these weeks. Bro, it's Sellers. Fires to the right. Touchdown, Gamecocks! And they grab the lead here in overtime. And how about that? His second receiving touchdown of the ball game. Find ways to get your athletes the ball. They'll do the rest. And that's number two. They've got to start playing some better defense. Number three is coming soon. Now to push the lead to seven in overtime. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. Now on first down, they need to answer with a touchdown. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Getting some heat. And the quarterback will take a sack back at the 36. I love the defensive effort there. They didn't get him right away. They stayed after him. He was scrambling, going backwards. They get the sack on the first play of the drop. That's the last thing you want as an offense. A negative play. A sack on first down. He's back to throw on second down. Oh, and it's intercepted. A turnover in overtime. Bringing it back. He goes out of bounds, but he just about did it himself. What a return after the interception. My pulse rate is still through the roof on this game. I would have called that one for free. Uh, wait, I don't want to get carried away there. But it was a really fun game and a great win. <laughs> it really was. I know we're all up here. We're bouncing around. We're excited after having seen what we just saw. What a great win for this team to go out and do it in overtime. That's the type of game that fans are going to be talking about for a long time. Great game. Right. If you know Reese Davis, that is not happening. But we got a free game that was awesome. Back and forth, nip and tuck. And bonus time. You got some free overtime play in that one. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis. And this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.